Oh, you mean people that don't know since your boy Yardman Ethan. And I am here representing for Floribian Fest, the very first annual. We're going to have Afrobeat, Soka, Dancehall, and Hip Hop music all together in one. We're going to have performances by Tiwa Savage, Viking, Bunji Garlin, and the man himself, Alkaline. Saturday, September 29th. And I am working with Floribian Fest and I have the privilege of giving away two tickets every week. So if you want the chance to win a ticket, stay till the very end of this video for instructions on how to win. Oh, you mean you don't know? Says your boy Yardman Ethan. And before we get into this video, I need to remind you guys to subscribe and keep the vibe. Ding, dong, done. Oh, you mean people that don't know this is your boy Yardman Ethan, and we are back at it again with another episode of Chef Boy Yardie. Now, if you guys seen my last Chef Boy Yardie video, you know that I had to correct the wrongs that Refiner29 did to Brown Steel Chicken. You might as well just add the beans now. Ah. Hold on there, dude. You said rice and peas? The rice is basically done. Wait! A rice and peas that? No, 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 we need a closer look. And a rice and peas this. A soup. But this video is not about roasting nobody. This video was a highly requested video from my fans. People them don't want to know how really hard man they make curry. Chicken. When you ready? It's time for Chef Boy Yardy. I got the, 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 the four chicken leg water, them, you see me? It's up to you how much chicken leg water you want to cook. It's up to how hungry belly you be, but you see me, it's after I cook something, I don't go want it after like three days, you see me? So the four leg water, them can, we can deal with this. Zane? Over here, so we have the vegetable them cut up. We have some scallion and we have some onion in here, so and we have a piece of thyme in this. Zane? Of course. The main piece of this is the curry powder. You see me? Curry powder is a nice little powder we are going to use for this. Zen, we use it for seasoning it up. And hear me as I know, the correct way to say this dish after it finish is curry chicken. Alright, I just want to say that because I don't have some backwards people watching this video. And of course, we have some cut up garlic in here. So, Zen, I'll get to this in a second. We so we'll cut up the garlic and we're going to put in some oil. Or butter, I'm gonna put in the curry powder pan it for bun the curry a little bit before putting the meat. Alright. So the first thing we're gonna do right there, so I have to clean the meat. So hear me set up people. The first thing we have to do, we have to clean the chicken properly. So the first thing we have to do, we have to de-skin the chicken because I mean some people like curry chicken with skin. I don't like curry chicken with skin. Bad man, I'll put no skin in my mouth, see? So here I'm going on, I'll have to clean the meat properly. No afraid to grip your meat. You see me? You can't afraid to grip your meat. You just take it, see? Just take it and just buy. Just so. And you see the skin right there, so? Yeah. Circumcise, I mean, I mean, um. Just, 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 just cut off the, just cut off the skin. Skin off the chicken like you skin off one girl, you see me? Alright, so I understand the, the concept. And look at now. You see that part of the chicken here? This is the chicken's ass. The chicken butty. You see, Jamaican people don't eat butty. Bruh! Alright, so here we are, son man. Cut it off. So look at now, people. You see, when it comes to the chicken thighs, there is a particular section right here, so with the blood vessel them there. Yeah, you see that? You see that right here, so? Right here, so. Hear me, so now. If you name a chicken thigh, and you see this still in there after you cook, that means they never wash the chicken. Zin. So when you cook chicken, that's what you do. You take your finger, so, your thumb, your big finger, and just go, so. Take it and just rip it out. Because I don't like the chicken when they're in there. That's so why you have to clean the chicken. Then. See there? Clean. 
most of the chicken we find in America, you know them restaurants here. Yeah? As a matter of fact, all the chicken that we are gonna find in America in you know, them restaurants yeah? don't clean them chicken because you always are gonna find that in there. So see there? Go she pretty now. See there? Go she pretty. You can almost eat this raw. Wait, no, 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 most the chicken die. Yeah. See, so the next thing we're gonna do right now is clean the chicken. If none of them come to me and say washing chicken is bad for you, go suck your You see me? No Caribbean smuddy. Don't wash them chicken. You see me? So here we are, son of man. We just take some vinegar or lime juice right now, man. Use some lime juice, some lemon juice, professor. And just put it in our chicken. You see me? And here we are, son of man. You see? When we use vinegar or lemon juice or lime juice to wash chicken, it is an acid. An acid will kill the bacteria upon the raw chicken. They just wash it off one more time after that with some water and I would have the chicken clean. Yo, let me ask you man, is there any of you cook curry? Make sure so you don't wear brightly colored clothes because any of the curry catch on your clothes, it's like a stain up. So right now, we are on to my favorite part. Seasoning. We get the all purpose seasoning. You can all put in some pimento seed in there if you want. Like a little bit of pimento seed. You see? And of course, the main seasoning the curry powder. Yes. Yes. And looking at this is my favorite part the seasoning of the meat. You see my ear mess and my just like the brown stew chicken video. The most important part to this is how you season the meat. Just rub it. Yeah man, rub the raw meat, man. Rub the raw meat. You see me? Like a lotion you put on. Wait, wait, Why? No, 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 no. You mess and man, just rub the raw meat. Yeah. Yeah. Just get in there. And feel it up and squeeze it up. Yeah man. Just caress it. And just mm. Make sure you drink a magnum before this. Workout, I think she's tired. Get it? Cause me pulverize our meat. <laughs> I'm disgusted. So people, after the meat has been eviscerated and beaten, I make it just sit down there and rest for a little bit. What we're gonna do now? We're going to start up the pot. And see, as you can see in the pot, we have a mince up garlic and we have a fresh Scotch bonnet pepper in here. So what we're gonna do? We get either oil or butter, and right now I want to use some butter because I feel like when I use butter, oh yes, look at that smooth, smooth, smooth butter, yes. Look like lotion, not true. Yo, man, why? Give me a yeah. cinnamon. I like to use butter because it adds a nice thickness and shine to the gravy. Who knows who me I talk about? But yeah, we're just putting the butter. And just make it melt out. And to the secret with curry chicken, we're gonna take some of the curry powder and put it in the oil to burn up a little bit to make the sauce. You see me? Or so we do it. 
just make a beautiful fragrance in your summer. Now, of Yum. course, you don't actually want it to burn out, burn out. You may don't want it to burn too much. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of water to the pot right now. Yes. And just make it bubble up. Bubble, bubble, get up, bubble, bubble, get up. Yes, people. Let's make it bubble up a little bit and after it get to our right level of bubbleness, we can start putting in the meat right in the water. Make sure beard. She beard in the bubble bath. Yeah. And look at them. If you saw the brown sea chicken video, you'd know that there's one thing that I emphasize. Jamaican people do not waste. So you see this? All of this, all this onion and skillion and season everything in there. Look how we get it. We just get put in some water, as me said. We get some water. Rinse it out a little bit. Switch it around. And just add it to the pot. Cover her up and put her to bed. While she cannot cook and she dey in there, we are move on to our next girl. Zin, next girl, she named Jasmine. One China girl. See her here, Jasmine Rice. Yeah, this is, when it comes to Jamaican cooking, Jamaican chefs don't measure things, you know. Like really and truly, we just know when to stop. I know when to stop adding, isn't it? So you open up the China girl, see her there, see her insides there. Yes, yeah, she's pretty and she's nice, not true. Yeah, man. So, oh, she smells nice too. Mmm. And then, it's like a pour like a little bit in the pot. You see me? No, hold on, Jamaican people. Before you crucify me, before you crucify me, I know that this rice should not be a date. She not be idiot. The, the, right, the rice no wash yet, all right? Hold on. Uh, this me I got wash it now, all right? I mean, I got wash it so I can see. I'm Jasmine, yes, so. I mean, I beat her. See? I mean, I beat her off. Yeah. So I can't see me not see them way there, see me? I mean, I beat her first. Before I cook her. Wait, no, 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 no. And you see the thing with Jasmine rice? You can't use too much water. It is better to start off with a little bit of water and keep on adding water as you go instead of adding too much water all at one time. All right? So now that Jasmine beard off, I got to put her up on the stove. Since that one named Jasmine, I got to call that one here Henisha. Yeah, Henisha. So Henisha over here, so I cook down and I got to start up Jasmine thing now. All right? So when it comes to Jasmine now, what we can do? Just... Give her a little bit of bath salts. <laughs> Get it, bath salt, cause I water and I salt, yeah. And can give her a little so bit of butter. Yes. Can you show bubble do? Yes, can you show? Aye. Himisha hot do. Mm. Yeah man, Himisha hot girl man. Himisha hot girl. Oi. Mm. Himisha juice tastes good do. Why? Yo, edit that out. So we just add a little bit more water to Jasmine pot. I mean, Jasmine pot. I mean, to the rice pot. You see me? Because it was getting a little bit dry. So just we put a little bit more water and let's close the monitor this. We're going to turn down the heat to about the low heat. Okay, you don't want this to cook out too fast. We want the rice to get nice, fluffy, and soft. And people, to put a little bit more body into your curry chicken, you can put in carrot and or a potato. Get the nice potato and we'll peel it off. So now, we can just cut it up. So we can start with a cut like so. Cut it right in the half. You can go with another cut right on the middle. 
just hooked in. And we're not going to put the potatoes into the chicken until the chicken is almost finished. The reason why is because if we put in the potatoes too early, they're going to get mashed out in the chicken under all that heat. We don't want the, the, the potatoes to get mashed out too quick. But we still want to preserve the integrity of the potatoes. See you there. Zoom in. You can't make Kenisha dry out. See you there. And at the same time, you can check the tenderness of the meat. So when Tanisha get tender, Ah, oh, we get a piece of Hennish meat. Yo. Hennish are cooking them. So now that we know that the meat is cooked, we can proceed to put the potatoes in there. All right. And this meal will be finished the moment the potatoes are cooked all the way through. Let us check the status of Jasmine. Woo! She fluffy. Mm. What a pretty thing. Mm-mm. Kuya. She no soupy. She fluffy. She soft. Hey, Mr. Naman, you can't add too much water to Jasmine rice, you know, because and a soup you make. A rice you make, look here. Yes, I am. Mmm. She look good. Let me take a... Let me taste her right. No, no, no. Let me taste her right. Not you. Let me taste her right. Ladies and gentlemen, Hanisha done beard. I mean, the chicken done cook. The chicken done cook. And gentlemen, it is time to serve. Hello, Jasmine. Jasmine, pretty though. Mmm. Anisha time. Mm. Listen to that bubble. Anisha, ready for my man? I'm just take like, that piece of chicken, yeah? And that piece of potato. Mm -hmm. Just put it one side. Yeah, man. Take another piece of chicken. Yeah, man. And find like one other small piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. All right, this one. And you see, nothing can be complete without the gravy. Yeah, man. Just drizzle it over jasmine. Yeah, man. Just drizzle it right over jasmine. Yeah, man. Mm. And you gotta take some potato. You top it all off, right? That's all. Yeah, man. Find another piece of potato. Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> Thank you, God, for real Jamaican food. Amen. Mm. 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 Bombo. <laughs> What do you mean people don't know this is a boy yard man eaten? And this is real Jamaican curry chicken. No, excuse me. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. And for the first two ticket giveaways to Floribian Fest, I have Amber Moss and Bell's Place. So please slide in my DMs on Instagram to claim those tickets. And don't worry guys, I have more tickets to give away. So to enter for next week's ticket giveaway, just comment down below who you want to see at Floribian Fest. Central Park ATL. Did I mention you're your own bartender? That's right, it's a BYOB. Someone just got Atta. This is guaranteed to be a sold out event. Ferribian Fest. Log on to ferribianfest.com now for event details, artist lineup, and tickets.